And to go to the next star, oops. Uh, yes, they are the most tastiest, delectable things, but you can also sell them for some good profit, evidently. Maybe even sell them to Lumas for num nums. And uh, maybe I'll just collect those for the heck of it. And uh, why would I want to feed you? That, that's just kind of rude of you, but whatever. Yes, you can shoot uh, star bits at these guys, and they'll be very happy that, that you uh, feed them like that. Um, you'll be able to feed other critters, and you can even use star bits to um, stun them as well. I mean, stun enemies and stuff like that. Um, so while they could be used as projectiles and things that you can use to feed other critters, they also take forever um, to collect if you use them all the time. So let's just go back to Good Egg Galaxy. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, if there isn't anything eventful between star collecting, I'm just going to cut off to this screen right here, um, to the next star select screen, so to speak, uh, just to save some time and make it more fun to watch. This one is called A Snack of Cosmic Proportions. We have to feed this guy with star bits. So, um, yeah, we got to collect a bunch of star bits. So... See, like, when I was flying towards the screen, or flying towards a planet like that, I made sure to wave the pointer around on the planets and stuff like that to, um, uh, get some star bits as I go. Oh, and whenever you see, like, a circle formation like this, shake it. Yeah, they do a spin, and a whole bunch of star bits will come out of the ground. Star bits all, and coins also come out of, uh, bushes and stuff like that, just like so. Um... But since I'm only collecting star bits at the moment, uh, I'll probably be going for only the star bits, uh, obviously. <laughs> um, what's in this pipe? I don't believe I showed what's in this pipe. Then again, I'll be dilly-dallying around all the time. It's, yeah. Oh, it just put me on the other side of the planet. Oh, these things, those things like the grip on your head, like that. And if you let them sit on your head for too long, um, they'll, you'll take damage. All you have to do to get them off is to spin. Um, this probably has coins. Oh, it has a, a whole bunch of star bits in it. Uh, if you hit, if you get enough star bits out of it, it'll explode into a bunch of star bits. Uh, hello, how's it going? Ooh, yes, I can shoot him. Uh, I'll just demonstrate that right here. I'll just shoot it right at you like that, and as you can see, it stunned them just just as I did a star, just as if I did a, a star spin against the Goomba, and it'll stun them. That I can just walk into him to kill him like that. Uh, pretty easy to do. Um, it, it's kind of like a shooter in the way that it has a pointer. It's like a platformer and the shooter in a way. It's kind of silly to hybrid that, but it works pretty well. And I, there's a whole bunch of pull stars. Yes, this is what these things are. They're called pull stars. Just grip, uh, grip them as you go. Uh, it takes a little practice to get the rhythm down, but you'll get it. Uh, <clears throat> and so we're at the next planet. Um, these spiky things, you can't kill under normal circumstances, but if you knock one of these green things into them, you can kill them and turn them into star bits. Um, I think I'm going to need 100 star bits to satisfy that critter that you've seen uh, over there at the very intro of the stage. So I'm, I'm going to need a ton of star bits, so I might as well kill a bunch of these critters just to be safe and get a bunch of star bits along the way, and I'm going to kill you just because I can. Oh, I should have actually just kicked into it. Uh, and you know what, maybe I don't have the star bit grind so much. Uh, I'm getting a ton of star bits along the way. Um, you can uh, spin right into that star as you're going through it, and then you'll jump right, ow, oh, jump right to the next planet. Um, or you can just let yourself go, and you'll go to this planet. Uh, which is what I recommend that you do, because this place is a star bit gold mine. Um, I got 101 star bits, wow. And as you've seen, that there, there was two sling stars over there. Um, which one you choose depend. um, it takes you to a different planet. I'm pretty sure I show all the planets, actually, so, uh, I'll definitely show them all later, but this is all I need to show for now. Uh, yes, I do have tasty star bits. How many do you need? A hundred star bits? Just as I thought. See, that's what I'm talking about with nerd knowledge in this game. I know way too much about this game for my own good. So, yeah, I'm feeding this guy. Holy cow, what an appetite. Look at the size of him. Here we go. Transform. And that's, and so, that's how Planet Earth was born. <laughs> or so, that's what the game is implying, anyway. Um, that's actually a, a pretty cool concept, is, you know, of this game, is that it, it gives it, like, um, 
it gives you the feel of like the origin of the universe. It kind of explains it through the game's actions. Of course, it's not real or anything like that, but the, this game uh, has has a lot of stuff put into it that uh, you can relate to, like you wonder, and then it just like gives you the answer to it in this game, whether it's true or not, you know? <laughs> it, it's just one of those, uh, it's just one of those neat touches in Nintendo games that, that give them, despite their cartoony look, a, a feel that you can really relate to. Um, you can get this one up here if you want to. Um, Here's, a, here's another uh, technique here. To wall jump, jump at a wall, and then tap the control stick in the opposite direction and jump. Um, like, you want to let yourself slide against the wall by pushing against it, and then jump off of that slide. Like that. It's, it's pretty simple, actually, once you get the hang of wall jumping. And once you do, you can get to places that you could never get before. So I recommend that you practice your wall jumps quite a bit. And now I'm on, at the main portion of this planet here, and the music has changed yet to another one of my favorite songs. Listen to this! Ah, it's so soft and soothing. Um, I'm looking for the entrance to this thing here. There, there, you have to break a crystal to open up a thing to, I mean, to open up a hole to get inside here. I'm looking for that hole right now. I'm pretty sure it's at the bottom, but I thought it was at the bottom. And I, I, I kind of made a mistake there. Just a little one. Oh, there it is. See this metal ring? That marks the hole. There we go. Okay, see those arrows on the wall there? Yeah, they indicate that um, uh, which, which direction the gravity is. And did you see what I did there? Because I was able to wall jump up here. I was able to take a shortcut up to the second uh, second level here, which I'm not normally able to do if I played this uh, um, the normal way. Normally I would have to go around like this to get up there, um, but I just thought I'd show you that little shortcut, and I probably will be taking shortcuts like that um, as I go. Whoops, I actually wasn't supposed to do that. I wasn't supposed to jump there, but that's okay. I'll just spin up to the second level to flip, and there we go. Um, you have to go all the way up to the top, in case you're wondering. Uh, the star, or I should say, the, the sling star is at, at the top of this thing, uh, which is right here. And there we go. And you're going to blast through the glass like awesomeness. And now we're going to be searching for blue star pieces. This is just like those um, gold star pieces um, that make sling stars. But in this case, they make um, those blue... Uh, Hold stars, gri grippy stars, whatever you want. Oh, pull stars, that's, that's the name I'm thinking of. Um, as you can see, they're not very hard to find. Oh, and you can't die on this planet, so don't worry about falling through the hole or anything like that. I mean, come on, I'm underneath this thing. <laughs> um, that, that's another cool thing about this game, is that you can fall off, but due to the concept of the game, uh, with all of its gravity, you won't likely die. So, I got a star. Yay! You can usually tell when a planet is going to fall to your doom if it looks like that it cuts off to, like, dirt or something unexpectedly. But if it looks like the grass or something wraps around the edge of it, then it, then you'll most likely be able to just walk around it. Or if the edge is really round, you'll, be, you'll know if you'll be able to walk around it. And I'm not going to go to the next area just yet. I'm going to uh, continue at Good Egg Galaxy and get the third star of the world. Or I should say the galaxy, because that is the only one that, um, I mean, the, well, the last star that I'll be able to get to get at this galaxy for a little while. And then I'll move on to the next one. 